Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening, gives us more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past, in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, we're going to be uh, getting into some more deep information, more confirmation that the Most High is releasing our records and our information back to us. And you're going to see how the other nations have been using our information to, put, uh, to get their game up. To make it seem as if, you know, the knowledge of the stars and how it affects the events here on planet Earth have been theirs from the get-go. And, you know, been there, but has been there, you know, <clears throat> you know, has been their information from jump. But this is our inheritance that they've been, you know, using to put themselves up on a pedestal. We're going to see that this this uh, this whole event with Russia was already has been foretold in the stars, and they got that from our records. When you understand, you see now you're going to understand why they've been pushing the whole, you know, Kabbalah is witchcraft and this 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 and that, because see once you start to get in there, you start to see how they've been using this information to raise their level, to make it seem as if they are in such a high um, intellectual level. But all they've been doing is just regurgitating our information back to the world and making it seem as if it's been them, that this is their information. We've been hearing the news about Russia, you know, surrounding Ukraine. There's going to be a huge event. If it's not war, it's going to be something else, but it's going to be something with Russia very soon. Because these um, events were already announced. It was announced in December. That there was something huge going to come regarding Russia. And this just shows you how the Most High has everything planned out. You know, so you get the information about the stars from like astronomy, as far as just the planets and, and the distance from where to there and the sizes and all that information. You get that, you know, that dead information. But you get the spiritual information through astrology and how the planets apply their force and how each planet has, you know, its attributes and how those attributes, you know, play themselves out here on the earth. As above, so below. We're going to get into this, the Kabbalah of Numbers, part one. Now, when you start getting into this information, you start to realize, you know, they've been talking about astrology and all these other things. But, hey, they tell you that it's witchcraft. Don't look at it. Don't, you know, don't get involved with it because it's going to lead you to hell. All the while, they've been in our records, getting the downloads and then telling us about it, but not telling us where they're getting the information from. Much of this information that, you know, they tell you about, you know, these, there's these uh, eclipses that are happening and this you know, has a bad, you know, it's a bad omen for this country. Or it's a bad omen for these people. How do they get this information? They got it from our Kabbalah. They got it from our traditions. They got it from our priests who have been passing down this information to the esoteric groups. This is why we kept our information, you know, away from the other nations. Because, you know, as soon as they get it, they're going to try to make it seem as if it's been theirs the whole time. And when we get into some more of this information, you know, right from jump, they're always trying to give credit to the Egyptians and the uh, Persians and all the other people as if they're the ones that have come up with this information. But we know that it was given to our posterity. This is part of the blessing of the Hebrew Israelites. And now I said, the more I study, the more I, I read, the more I see why 
they've been making it seem as if these books are so evil. But you're going to see some information right now. You tell me if it's evil. You tell me if it's, you know, it's going to lead you to hell if you read these books. This is what the church has done to keep you, these superstitions to keep you away from your information so they can continue to use it and prop themselves up. The Kabbalah of Numbers, part one, a handbook of interpretation. So this book actually helps with the interpretation of numbers. It's going to be help with the interpretation of events in the sky. Now we know in December, okay, there was a great conjunction, okay? So in fact, the great conjunction of December 21st, 2020, which will see Jupiter and Saturn in rare alignment and the sign of Aquarius is here to further shake things up socially, politically, personally, and in every other possible way. See, they've had our records. So they know exactly what this means. They know what the sign of Aquarius, you know, the sign actually appearing in Aquarius, they know what it means. And they know, you're going to see how you know, these conjunctions and, you know, these things happen in certain, you know, in certain places and certain areas and certain signs, how it, you know, what it means, because they've, they've seen it happening over and over again. So they already noticed that something to expect something huge with Russia. People who are know about the Kabbalah, people who know about this information, they already know what to expect. See, that's why, you know, before when Russia was like, you know, setting up and they were going to do something and then everything dies down. Russia sets up, they're going to do something, everything dies down. Well, now it's to the point where the stars are telling you it's not going to die down next time. There's a huge event that's coming. And the Kabbalah has been used, okay, to show and to prove that these, that these events have happened before. And they were just a, a, a sign of what was to happen in the near future. So let's take a look here. This is page 78 of the Kabbalah of Numbers, okay? There is a conjunction of these planets every alternate year. The conjunction falling in the next sign on each occasion. So that in 265 years, it performs nine revolutions and comes nearly to the same place in the Zodiac. If we trace the conjunction throughout recent years, we find a singular uniformity of ill effects attending upon the countries ruled by the sign of conjunction. Sagittarius rules Spain and Italy. The opposition Gemini ruling the United States. Capricorn rules India. Aquarius rules Russia. Pisces rules Portugal. Aries rules England. Taurus rules Ireland, Cancer rules Scotland and Holland, Leo rules France, according to ancient observations. Let us trace some recent events. You like that though? According to ancient observations. Who were the ones that were doing these ancient observations before? The Israelites. You see, that's why they love to throw out that word ancient for the Greeks and ancient for the Romans. This is according to ancient observations, ancient, you know, ancient writings. Who was given this Kabbalah before? Who was given these sacred writings before? Passed down to the Israelites. So just, you know, just you got to pick up on the little things to say, according to ancient observations. Remember now, the Gentiles didn't have ancient observations. Remember when they came over here in 1492, See, Table Tewakon was already set up based off of the planets of the solar system. But it didn't take to, it took to like the 1800s, 1900s for the Gentiles to be able to actually figure out where these planets were in the solar system. They figured it out hundreds of years later because they didn't have these ancient observations. These ancient observations were being done by our priests using the information that was been handed down to their posterity, the esoteric information that was been handed down the hidden occult information, okay? The hidden information that was only given to a select few. So now you understand why the other nations would come to us and cleave to us because we would, could you imagine what we must have looked like when we could tell, tell people, okay, well, there's going to be an eclipse at this time and it happened. This event, you know, is going to happen in this area and it happens. This is going to happen here and it happens. We must have looked 
like, like gods to them because we were able to, I mean, this information was just um, so amazing that the other people didn't have it. And now you understand why the Roman Catholic church, you know, was coveting our position so much and they wanted to take us down and usurp our authority and usurp our position. Now you see why with these kinds of, with this kind of information, <clears throat> you know, they just, they give you the information, but they're not telling you where they're getting it from. They're not telling you how they know that, you know, that uh, Aquarius rules Russia in certain areas. They, they're not telling you how they get this information. They're just giving you the information and then it's just say, you know, according to ancient observations. Well, we, we can pick up on all that now. We know who you're talking about. You're talking about the Celts who had this information. You're talking about the Druids who had this information. Our priests, you're talking about the Mayans and the Aztecs, the Hebrews who had this information. Let's continue. Now you got some examples right here. 1897, November, Mars and Saturn conjoined in Sagittarius. So we got Sagittarius right there. You look up this. Sagittarius rules Spain and Italy. A Hispano-American War, 1898. So the next year, this is what happened. 1899, December conjunction and the same sign. Okay, King Humbert of Italy assassinated, 1900. So the next year. 1901, December conjunction and Capricorn, Bande Mataram agitation, 1902. 1903. December conjunction in Aquarius, Russo-Japanese War, 1904. 1905, December again in Aquarius. So that's Russia again. Russian Revolt, 1906. Red Sunday, 1906. 1907, December conjunction in Pisces, assassination of King and Crown Prince of Portugal, 1908. Followed by Revolution. 1909, December conjunction in Aries, Death of King Edward VII, 1910. Democratic Ascendancy, 1910. 1911, August Conjunction in Taurus. Okay, 1913, August Conjunction in Gemini. What we may expect to follow will best be defined by reference to the past effects of similar positions. The last conjunction in Taurus was 1881. This was the year of the agra agrarian outrage in Ireland and the murder of Burke and a Cavendish in Phoenix Park. Using our greater period of 265 years, we find the following parallel. 1644, Saturn and Mars and Aries. Marston Moore, overthrow of the Royalists, 1644. Democratic Ascendancy, 1910. Death of King Edward, 1910. That happened right there in 1909, okay? This is, all, this is all part of the Kabbalah. Is this all about witchcraft? Or is this about information that shows you as above, so below? Is this not confirming the things that were, um, you know, talked about in the Bible? How it's just a, a, a mirror, a reflection of the things that are happening that are ordained in the skies and the heavens plays out here on the earth. Hence why they've been telling you forever, don't look in the skies. Don't look at, don't look at, you know, astrology. Don't look at the, you know, don't look up there. Because the whole story has been is playing out up there. It just shows you how deep and complicated the Most High is. And anyone that says, I've got him figured out, I got 100% truth, I understand everything, only come to me because I'm the only one that understands everything, shows you that they have no clue what they're talking about. No clue. 1646, Saturn and Mars in Taurus. And at 265 years, you know, the Irish Rebellion, right there, 1646. 1911, the Irish protest, 1911. 1648, uh, Saturn and Mars and Gemini. London invested by Cromwell, 1648. King Charles in flight. The House of Lords abolished, 1648. King Charles beheaded, 1649. So you got 1913, 265 years. Saturn and Mars in Cancer. Great floods in Holland, 1650. Scotland invaded and reduced by Cromwell, 1650. The question now arises, what connection have planetary periods with numerology? In a general sense, they tend to establish the physiognomy of nature as a scientific study. If the powers that be elect to signal us by means of celestial phenomenon, why not by numerical figures? 
if by planetary periods we may trace the periodicity of events. Why not by numerical sequences? Just showing you right now. We just had, now you understand. We just had, oh, go back over here again. In fact, the great conjunction of December 21st, 2020, which will see Jupiter and Saturn in rare alignment in the sign of Aquarius, is here to further shake things up socially, politically, personally, and in every other possible way. This is showing you right here. This, this is the most high. He's signaling that great things are about to happen. He told our people to look at these stars. They're there for signs. These planets and these stars are there for signs for us to understand the times that we are in. We're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be the ones that are going to be totally surprised because the Most High has already given us, you know, the information to be able to understand what's going on. These are not coincidence, coincidences. Everything is planned out by the Father. Just like us getting this information right now. This is not a coincidence. This is the Most High. This is him confirming the covenant that he made with his people. He is restoring us as a people. He has given us our knowledge and understanding as a people. He's exposing the fact that these other nations have stolen our information and have been using it against us this entire time. And many are still fighting the fact that the Father is trying to give it back to us. And if you're fighting it, and maybe, like I said, maybe this information and this step isn't for you. The ones who are, you know, receiving it, Most High is showing you that, hey, I'm real. I'm restoring the covenant. I'm restoring you as a people. You were destroyed for a lack of knowledge. These other nations took that knowledge and destroyed our people. And now the Father is working to give it back. This was a beautiful comment that I saw earlier and I wanted to share. Just showing you how the things that we're doing right now is a fulfillment of Scripture. Us exposing the other nations. Us reclaiming our heritage. Reclaiming our information back. Most High showing us how, you know, showing us how this information is ours and how we have the Midas touch. And when we start to, you know, actually accept the Most High, accept this information, that there's going to be nothing that the other nations can do to stop us. Because that's how it was in the beginning. That's how it will be again. That's how the people, the, the Gentiles are, you know, many are having their eyes open to see the truth and to see who you're supposed to be cleaving to. And right now, the Most High is showing and proving right now by giving us this information right now. So as Dr. Pritchard describes the supposition of supposition of British Celts as Aryans in race and ascribes to them the introduction of the various Aryan dialects uh, current before the Anglo-Saxon period and the British Isles. And in 1851, Sir Daniel Wilson, the antiquary, calls the British Isles the insular home of the Celtae. The transformation of the people of the British Isles into Celt was then complete. Phoenician origins of Britons. Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. They took our heritage and applied it to themselves. They use this information about the stars. And they tell you, don't look at those books because they're witchcraft. They're evil. You'll go to hell because they don't want you to read the books, actually read them and study them for yourself because they know that you're going to have the Holy Spirit and she's going to open up the understanding for you. And you're going to see right through all the lies. You're going to start to question like, hold on, where did you get this information from? Who were the ones that did these ancient observations before? It wasn't you because you weren't even in the lands. So who were the ones? Oh, you guys said that you guys were the Celts. Well, the Most High showed that that was a lie with the skulls. He had other, other Gentiles go and dig up these skulls and actually debunk the lie that you guys were the ancient Celts. Well, who are the ancient Celts now? Because those were the ones doing the, these observations. And now, oh, those were so-called black people. Oh, okay. So like I said, this is how the Most High has been working behind the scenes to bring out this information. And now that he's given it back to us, we still got people saying, no, I don't accept that. No, I don't want that. I'm happy with what I have. I don't want any more Bible. And that's fine. We're still going to continue to press on and get this information out to the people because that's what the Most High has called us to do. 
make those connections, bring out this information, showing you right now that Russia is on, Russia, something's going to happen with Russia, guaranteed. Because the stars are already showing you that that's exactly what's going to happen. Our people knew that the Spaniards were coming over to destroy them. Because our priests could read the signs in the sky. They knew exactly what was happening, just like I talked about in the Florentine Codex. How Moctezuma and his priests already knew what was going to happen. They already knew what was coming. They knew they were going to be punished for their sins. And then Most High was going to use another nation to do it. They made a covenant with the Most High. That as long as they followed the ways of the Most High, he would keep them holy and separate and keep the Gentiles away. Once we broke that covenant, we knew what was coming. The stars already foretold it. So now, just as we knew that our destruction was coming, that there was going to be hell to pay, you other nations, the same thing is happening to you. There's signs in the sky showing that your destruction is coming, that you're going to have to fall under these curses to pay for the sins of your fathers. They told you all these lies about how great you were and how you had all this information and you were the ones doing these great observations and that, you know, this was your heritage, all this knowledge. And now the Most High is showing you that that is not true. This is the fulfillment of scripture. What you did by suppressing it, so they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. That's what you've done. That's why in Jeremiah 16, it says, you know, you guys are going to go to the Most High and saying that your fathers have inherited lies. The lies that they've inherited was that this great information that puts you guys up on a pedestal above everyone else, that it was yours, it's always been yours. That's the lie that your fathers have given you. And now the Most High is using his people to expose those lies. Just showing right here again how there was great information, great understanding, and it was handed down to specific people to the priests here, over here in the Americas. Quetzalcoatl appeared as a great sorcerer, magician, or necromancer. He performed miracles, and upon his departure, his secrets were entrusted to an order of priests governed by a hierophant or master. This priesthood practiced the arts and sciences, treated the sick, administered sacraments, and were diviners and prophets. You would look like a prophet when you're sitting here looking at the stars and you're able to read the stars and tell people what's going to happen in this certain area at this time. Just imagine how it looked from the perspective of the other nation when our people could read these stars and they have this information and this understanding. And now the Father is working to give it back to us once again. So as you look at the news, definitely be on the lookout for great events concerning Russia. Because according to the numbers and the information that was in the Kabbalah right here, that and what happened in the signs in December 2020 and the conjunction and where it was at, you know that the Most High is going to make, you know, the truth manifest. He's going to make these events manifest because it's time. It's time to prove that this information is ours. It's coming back to us. And as the Most High puts it back in our hands, the Midas touch is back. And it's going to be shown and proven once again. That this information in your hands, Gentiles, you know, was okay. But now it's coming to the Most High's chosen people again. This information is coming back to us. And now it's about to be, you know, on point. It's going to be huge and it's going to explode once again. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom, family.